this is Andy Tube. This video is uh, going to be pretty short, especially for me. <laughs> and I just wanted to share with you, um, especially those of you that watched my introduction video for Terrible, the Model 401A. Um, and you remember maybe that I could not rotate the, the, I couldn't rotate it completely. It would go so far in either direction and kind of stop. And uh, I, I fixed that today. I, I didn't really fix it. I just discovered what was causing it. <laughs> and I had a good laugh. And I thought, wow, I, I must be losing my touch that, that I didn't spot this during my inspection of the machine. <laughs> but uh, better I lose my touch than my mind. I, I can get my touch back. No, no worries. But anyway, as a reminder, um, you know, when I was doing the other video I, I was like hey this this won't rotate see it, it'll it'll come so far and it stops and it goes so far and it and it stops but it won't it won't just kind of like keep going around and around in uh, circles you know like normal so if you if you follow this um, little set screw here you see it's just before uh, five uh, six o'clock like 5:30, and then if you rotate the handle, it'll go over to about three or four, and then that's it. So it was the weirdest thing, right? And then later, I, uh, you know, I took this screw out up here, and one screw was missing, and I took the cover off here, and I was showing you the inside and talk about what I'll be doing in the series you know, with the cam stack and lifters and followers and stuff. And so, you know, I, I, I edited my video and posted it up and I've uh, been getting a lot of comments. Thank you, especially for the good wishes comments. Those are very valuable to me and I appreciate those a lot. But anyway, I came to clean up my work area um, this morning and I was like, wow, this is so weird. I, I, I was thinking maybe a little piece or a set screw or something fell down and was in the worm gear. And I thought, that's just so weird that it won't turn. And then look, I said, wow, wait a minute, it turns smooth. It's easy. It, and, I, and I said, look at it, it's, it's like normal, you know? What, what, what did I do? The only thing I did was take the cover off, right? And I th and I thought, well, a cover, a cover can't block, you know, the machine, can it? Oh, wait, wait. So I went to pick this up, and then I picked up the screw I took out that I never looked at, and look at this screw broken in half. So you may remember. Uh, from that video that during the inspection I found a screw broken off flush here the rear the rear uh, arm cover screw so when I found this little stubby guy I thought man I took that out and didn't even realize it was so short but if you look at it pretty closely there on the end you can see it broke so I came up here to look and said, hey, there's like the other, the other half of my screw still in there. And then when you look at the angle, let's see if I can get it over here and get it right in front. You see how it's tilted? I said, that's how the screws broke. Somebody dropped this machine. Somebody dropped it and, and they must have dropped it on the back uh, corner and it pushed the the cover plate like forward and here's what was going on is in this stuck in this forward position because of the bent screw when you turn the hand wheel the take up levers hitting the cover <laughs> right <laughs> so i'm like oh that's why it had a lot of play Usually when a machine has a problem like this, you know, that the hand wheel will just turn a little or, you know, a, a tenth of a turn or a quarter of a turn maybe, but not 70 or 80% of a turn. But that's what was 
stopping was the take up lever hitting the cover. So, hmm, how about that? <laughs> this one is bent pretty good. I don't know if I'll be able to kind of like twist it out. This unscrewed, if you watch the video, when I started to screw it, I said, uh oh, because I didn't think it wanted to come out. But then it freed up. Well, what I did was it was it was partially uh, broken, and I just twisted it right right off, you know. So I'm hoping that one will be a little easier, and I might um, for this one that's just like wow, it's right down in there. There's just uh, and it's not even broken off clean. It's kind of jagged. So I've, I've heard about these little bits and stuff you can find that like maybe you drill a little starter hole and then you put put a different bit and you put your electric drill in reverse and it twists out. So I'm going to take some of the money that uh, people have donated to me through PayPal and I think I'm going to invest in one of those and see if that will get that out. Because you got to have an arm cover, right? You can't. You don't want to be sewn with your machine like this. <laughs> but anyway, I had a very good laugh at, at myself for that, and uh, I thought you could get a good laugh at my expense, and I don't mind at all because it's it's really quite funny. Of all the terrible things I thought it could be, down in the machine, and it was the, it was just the arm cover because somebody dropped it. Oh, and look. To verify my theory, I came back here and looked at this corner. Now, I, I don't have another 401 to compare it to, but look, that's that's not right. <laughs> I, I know Singer would never... Whoops, let me take this off. Uh, Singer, Singer would never design <laughs> their machine like that. So, I think you can see that this corner has kind of... Down here, it's very gracefully curved, you know, and then up up here, you can see it's it's flattened out. So, uh, luckily, I, none of the shafts appear to be bent, uh, and nothing else yet appears to be broken, which is really quite fortunate. Uh, when you think of the impact it, it must have had, this 20 plus pound machine falling and hitting right on the corner and the and the arm cover has just barely got a little scratch in the paint here and uh i mean not bad at all and let me put it back on here it doesn't even uh you know you you hardly notice the mismatch of it lining up the 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 casting of the machine is indented from the edge of the cover and they're usually you know per perfectly lined up like like this is so I'm th I'm thinking maybe they dropped it on a carpet or wood floor uh, you know not like tile or concrete or something really hard so I never even I never even noticed that so I I, I I guess, you know, that's one thing about free machines. You're going to get um, weird little things like that happening. That's why I said, personally, I probably wouldn't have bought the machine with with some of the things going on with it. But, uh, hey, it was free. And, it, it, you know, we need parts for these machines. And I'm always sad when I see a machine parted out on eBay. But, hey, where, where are you going to get these parts? Nobody makes you know all these parts anymore so I understand but you know the whole goal of my channel is to save the machines and get them back in service so I want I want to do it I want to see and uh, you know you know see if I can get it running and uh, properly and stuff again so we'll have fun I hope you can join me in the series but um, that is why my hand wheel wouldn't rotate 100%. <laughs> okay, I hope you come back for the rest of the series. Thanks for watching this video. Take care of yourselves. Yeah.